Congressional leaders have sealed a deal on an almost $1 trillion COVID-19 economic relief package. Nearly three dozen people and horses gathered to spread holiday cheer in Del Rapids. And a more than 20-year tradition continues for the Black Hills Area Salvation Army. Good morning. This is Killland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. First off, today we hope to learn more about a shooting early Sunday morning in Mitchell. According to the South Dakota Attorney General's office, around 2 a.m. yesterday morning, the Mitchell Police Department responded to a call for shots fired. The Attorney General's office says some people were hurt but had non-life-threatening injuries. The situation turned into a pursuit. One person was eventually taken into custody. The DCI has taken over the investigation. No other details have been released at this time. A developing story today on Capitol Hill. Today, top congressional negotiators have reached a deal on a $900 billion COVID economic relief package. The agreement includes $300 a week in extended unemployment benefits and, for many Americans, a stimulus check of $600. Lawmakers are expected to vote on it later today. Also today, Americans are set to begin receiving Moderna's coronavirus vaccine. Frontline health care workers and nursing home residents are expected to get the early round of injections along with the vaccine from Pfizer. A windy but warm start to the work week. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Good morning, Brian. Yes, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Indeed, it is a windy start. We've got strong winds blowing northeast South Dakota into western Minnesota, where we have wind advisories posted today. You can see an example of that. That's a wind map at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And the peak wind gusts in Southwest Minnesota running anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. So along the Buffalo Ridge, especially dealing with that issue here today. Sioux Falls, too, will have plenty of wind, but it will get better as we get towards sunset. And I do think that'll pan out, hopefully, for stargazers that want to see the great conjunction and what's been talked about with that. Obviously, you get to these last minute cloud forecasts, and that's kind of the key there. Maybe some high clouds in the west, but at this time, it appears mostly clear skies will prevail in eastern South Dakota. More on the forecast, including a big drop in the numbers and a cold front on Wednesday in just a couple minutes. Thank you, Brian. Happening this afternoon, health officials and city leaders will update the public on the COVID-19 pandemic in Sioux Falls. The news conference is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon to offer updates on case counts, community mitigation efforts, and a message from health care partners. We'll be offering a live stream of the news conference on our website at kelloland.com and we'll bring you the latest tonight on Kelloland News. Over the weekend, people turned out for a holiday horse parade in Del Rapids to spread joy to those living in long-term care facilities. Almost 30 people rode horses by the Dell's nursing home and Orchard Hills assisted living. Not only were residents inside able to enjoy the parade, but people outside also gathered at the two facilities. The people um, that are at the facilities, Orchard Hills and the nursing home, they are so, they were so pumped about this. It was just crazy. And I just uh, thought I'd just find a few people and all of a sudden I have like 25, 26 riders today. It was just crazy. Organizers say they thought it would be a great way to spread some positivity and holiday cheer. The Salvation Army has once again received a valuable coin in a red kettle. It's now been a golden tradition in the Black Hills for 24 years. On Friday, the Salvation Army received a one-ounce 1983 Robert Frost gold coin concealed in a clipping of a Peanuts cartoon and wrapped in a $100 bill. It was dropped in a red kettle at Walgreens in Spearfish. This is the second of the two annual gold coins usually received by the Salvation Army. The estimated value of the coin is currently just over $1,800. That is a look at some of today's local headlines. Now let's get one last look at the weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather forecast. Well, let's take a look at the big picture here into midweek. We do have a pretty substantial frontal boundary coming into the picture Tuesday night, early Wednesday. So the system as it comes in uh, from the Pacific Northwest, it looks like there will be plenty of snow in southern Canada. Notice this. Yep, we are painting the chance of snow here on Wednesday that's a big headline, just to even get any snow in the air these days. But looks like we'll at least manage some. Not guaranteeing it'll be a white Christmas, though, especially if it blows and skates right across those open 
country farm fields, that's probably going to be the case. And there's a lot of wind coming in on Wednesday. Of course, you're going to expect two temperatures are going to be dropping through the day and we'll have to bring up the wind chill map uh, likely by, I'd say, Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Somewhere between probably minus 5, minus 15 on the wind chill values easily across eastern South Dakota. Now that system will roll east and then in its wake it looks a little quieter for Christmas Day. We'll see if any post Christmas weather gets a little more active. There's some chances of snow maybe next week, but still a little ways off from that. All right, let's uh, go to the numbers here today as we've got highs in the 40s, 50s in fact for Rapid City. Winter today, 53, Valentine, 55. Lows tonight, low to mid-20s, above normal, even 31 and rapid. We do expect a southerly wind tomorrow for many of us. Uh, Sioux Falls, Aberdeen, and even Pier. Rapid will start with a south wind, but it'll switch to the northwest during the afternoon, 15 to 30. And, of course, a high near 60. That's a big number for this time of the year. I think we will see uh, colder weather, though. Those numbers falling all day on Wednesday in Sioux Falls with a chance of that light snow in the air and then clearing out Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Kind of chilly there to start the Christmas forecast, but I do think it'll warm through the 30s this weekend. Aberdeen also will take a rebound too by the end of the week, but uh, certainly Thursday looks quite cold. Highs uh, in the teens and lows at night near one above. I think, too, for Pier and Central South Dakota, that same dip, not quite as strong, though, about 39 for high by Christmas Day. And for folks in the West, look at how things rebound here. Already near 50 again by Thursday and Friday. Check out the latest details with that forecast with our Storm Center update right now at Kettleland.com.